Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some new fragrances that I have acquired and that I have purchased with my own coins. So in this fragrance haul, y'all, we have some PR, we have some affordable, and we have a couple of designers, some niche, we have a little bit of everything, y'all, and I'm so excited to share them with you. So if you wanna know, all the fragrances and I'm so excited to share with you in today's video then just continue to watch guys before we get started with the video please make sure you like this video thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other and make sure you're subscribed to the channel now guys let's start with the fragrances that I got sent to me in PR. So you guys know about a month or so ago, I did a Mind Games first impressions of the Soulmate collection and they blew me away. In my opinion, I prefer the Soulmate collection. Well, no, cause there's like four fragrances that I do love from the original collection, but there's more that I love in the Soulmate collection than the original collection. So y'all, I was sent Leonora, Queenin, French Defense, Sans Voir, and Vieri. Y'all, so some of them I saved. I didn't even open them out the cellophane. I wanted to open them here on camera with you guys. But the ones that I could not, I'm sorry, I could not wait was Queenin and French Defense. Now, I love all of these five fragrances, right? I was sent 10 in a discovery set. Five are my favorite, but these two, what's more than a favorite? <laughs> I'm, I don't know what it is, y'all, but these two are my favorites out the favorite. So let's start with Queenin. Queenin, I don't have the notes, but it's like, um, I swear there's some kind of a caramel or toffee with vanilla. It is a vanilla fragrance, okay? Because what my nose picks up is vanilla. So let me tell you what it says on the bottle, on the box. And it's an extra day parfum. Queenin is a celebration of achieving one's goals. This exquisite fragrance combines the royal scent of orris with the sweetness of vanilla. Yes, creating an uplifting opening followed by aged rum and saffron. No freaking wonder, y'all, there's rum and saffron in this fragrance. This captivating scent empowers all current and aspiring queens. Y'all, you need this. <laughs> Listen, vanilla, rum, saffron, y'all. And I feel like there's some kind of caramel, some type of sweet something in here too, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is, whoo. This right here. Okay, so let's look at the bottle. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at the cap. Because I feel like the caps are like what stands out on these Mind Games fragrances. Y'all queenin'? I mean, I cannot, okay. Now, in the discovery set, my 10 mil decant, which is almost gone, that was amazing. So let me just make sure that this is gonna smell the same. So I'm gonna spray it on this little card. So let's see. I'm so, oh my God. Y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all, this, oh my God. Y'all, this is so freaking good. Oh my goodness, it's vanilla, but it's more than just vanilla. The rum, the saffron, and like I said, I feel like there's some type of a caramel, like some type of a gourmand note in here as well. Y'all, Y'all already know, this is everything. I love this. If you love vanilla, if you love sweet, feminine scents. I don't think this is unisex. I don't think it's masculine leaning or anything like that. I feel like it's a feminine scent. Super sexy. Oh my, it smells like something a little smoky in the background too. 
Oh, y'all, this is everything. Okay, Queenin, I have a 10% discount code on Mind Games Fragrances. Check the description box if you're interested. It is pricey, but you can save 10%. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Okay, so that's Queenin. Yes, Queen. We love a good Queen. So the next one is French Defense. Another one of my favorites, y'all. Love this. Ooh, so the cap is the same, actually, like Queenin. The bottle is black, but the cap is the same. Okay, interesting. So French Defense, this is supposed to be the black cherry fragrance. So let's see what this says. French Defense takes control in a tantalizing scent of succulent black cherry and seductive notes of smooth liqueurs. Wrapped in a bed of velvety woods and ambers, soft florals are woven throughout the composition, bringing natural beauty to its structure. Completely captivating French Defense rises to every occasion. Okay, now, and honestly, like, when I smelled this the first time, I was hooked. So I already I already know, but I just hope, you know, the decant smells the same as the fragrance. <sighs> I mean, like, honestly, y'all, wow. I'm gonna say it again. Mind Game Soulmate Collection, for me, I prefer it over the original collection. Although there's some fragrances in the original collection that I love, they're bangers. But these right here, like, this is a problem. So now we have Sans Voir, another one of my favorites. Now I hope cellophane don't bother y'all, but we are gonna make it real quick and, and, and not painful for y'all, okay? Cause I know y'all be like, eh, cellophane, but I'm trying to make it quiet, y'all. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to do it quietly for y'all. Okay. So let's see what Sans Wars cap looks like. Oh, it's the same. So is a soulmate? Cause the caps in the other collection were all different. So it seems like the caps in the soulmate collection are all the same. So. This is the same cap as Queenin and as French Defense. Interesting. Okay. So Sans Voir. Let's see what this one says. The notes. Okay. Sans Voir leaves with Coastal Dream. Okay. So sea salt, grapefruit, jasmine, drenched in a cascade of cypress and freesia. Okay. Is that it? There's Palo Santo and Rose. Okay, so let's see. But I remember loving this one. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's more fresh. I remember saying, yes. Okay, so this one is the more fresh one that I feel like is perfect for like spring, summer or hot days. So I won't be wearing this one in the fall, but this one is really pretty, like I said, fresh for a nice hot day or even vacation. So we have two more from the Mind Game Soulmate Collection. Okay, yeah, y'all. So the caps are the same. So we're not going to get all the different caps in this collection. So Vieri, I'm trying to just read around the description. So I'm not going to bore y'all with, you know, the description of the fragrance. But there's the notes intertwined in the description. So let's see. Yes, you definitely smell the lemongrass in this fragrance. It's another fresh scent to me. And I smell tea. Really, really pretty. Another fresh scent. Love this. All right. So the last one from Mind Games is Leonora. So Leonora has, let's see, let me try to go around everything. Soaked into the honeyed animalic notes of osmanthus before melting into a soft creamy notes of sandalwood. Uh, yes, okay, so sandalwood, osmanthus, and fruity notes. So let's see. 
but I do remember loving this one. The, the, you know what they're gonna throw people off with their animalicness because i don't smell anything animalic but it's so pretty it's fruity it's almost a little bitter maybe that's where i'm picking up the animalic but it's pretty i'm gonna have to wear it all over my body but i know i love how it smells but you guys know my favorite favorites are queenin and uh french defense so all right, now let's get into these, y'all. Let's get into some affordable fragrances. Now, we have to start with these. We have to start with these because I was actually going to give these their own video, but then I was like, you know what? Let me just add them to this haul, and then if need be, you know, I'll add them in videos. So, I went to Zara to buy some pieces for the new season. You guys know I love fall clothes and shopping for fall i will have a fall haul coming up soon of like clothing and accessories and things like that so i was there minding my business and then i saw all these vanilla perfumes and i said um vanilla vanilla weir like let me get my nose on them and let me tell y'all i'm always in zara i love zara fun fact zara was one of my first jobs <laughs> okay i worked in zara many 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 moons ago i love zara but i i'm not into the fragrances when they did the collab with joe malone i did um purchase i forgot the one that was the popular one a lot of people were talking about it um i did purchase that one but then i decluttered it and gave it to my mother and then she gave it to somebody so i was never into the fragrances but zara clothes i'm all here for so I was like, let me see what this is about as I'm online, right? And I'm smelling them and I took them. Like I had to get them y'all because they smell amazing. If you love vanilla fragrances, you need these. Now, one of them reminds me of something that I have in my collection. The other two don't. I can't tell y'all if they're dupes of anything because if they are, I don't have the fragrances. So it's fine the reason why i don't particularly go for dupes is because if i have the fragrance why am i gonna have the dupe as well like i'm gonna just wear the fragrance something gonna go to waste if i have the fragrance you know what i'm saying so i have so many fragrances there's no need for me to have dupes but if this is a dupe like i said either one of these two because like i said one reminds me of something that i have and we're gonna get into it but if these two are dupes let me know in the comments below what they're dupes of because they don't smell familiar to me they smell amazing so the first one that we're going to talk about is the one that kind of reminds me of something and this is called hypnotic vanilla now hypnotic vanilla ding 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 operative word hypnotic so immediately i was like oh this is going to be hypnotic poison right and it does remind me of hypnotic poison but let me tell y'all let me just tell y'all really quickly a lot of you all don't like hypnotic poison from what y'all be telling me. I love it. But some of you say it smells like Play-Doh or this or that or whatever. Um, if you don't like that scent of hypnotic poison, you're going to love this. Because this smells like it a little bit. But the vanilla is boom banging. Okay? So imagine hypnotic poison with like tons of tons and tons loads and loads of vanilla why do i always sit here by my vanity with this stuff here i'll be knocking stuff with my elbow y'all this i'm gonna have to say it's it's hypnotic poison but it's better like it's better oh, it's so good and let me tell y'all how much i paid for this 17 dollars and 90 cents okay $17.90 and this lasted on my skin y'all it smells so good y'all know I love hypnotic poison um I love vanilla so when I smelled it even though it reminded me of hypnotic poison the reason why I purchased it anyway because I'm not trying to find a dupe for hypnotic poison I purchased it anyway because I smell the subtle difference it is vanilla overload Zara snapped okay Zara said Oh, the girls want vanilla. I'm going to give them vanilla. So let me see if I can find the notes of this one. This is golden vanilla. It says, uh, addictive and hypnotic, a radiant feminine bouquet embraced by the richness of golden vanilla. Y'all, this is beautiful. 
I love this. I love this. And like I said, if you smell hypnotic poison, but you didn't like it, try this if you can, because I think you'll like this. So the next two, for me, thank God, they don't remind me of anything. They're just beautiful vanilla scents. So the first one is Starlight Vanilla, and this is the purest abstraction, an exquisite nectar of almond and tonka bean dressed in an enveloping ambery vanilla signature. Y'all, this is so good. It is so freaking good. I don't know what this smells like. If you guys have this, what does this remind you of? Or what is this supposed to be? Because people say that Zara fragrances are dupes. So is this a dupe? Oh my God. Is this a dupe of something? Oh, it's, it does smell. Does it smell familiar? I don't know y'all, but this smells freaking amazing. Y'all, this is so good. Oh my goodness. Now, out of the three, I'm going to say Hypnotic Vanilla is my least favorite only because I have this scent profile. You know, I've smelled it before. So that's the only reason why, but it's still a beautiful scent. But this right here, the Starlight Vanilla. Oh, she is good. I'm telling y'all, if y'all love vanilla fragrances, head on to Zara and go with a little $60 and get some fragrances. I'm telling you, this is so good. Oh my goodness, this is so good, y'all. Okay, so the last one is Supreme Vanilla. There was another one in the collection, but it smelled more woody to me and it leaned a little bit more, it's unisex, but to me it leaned unisex. To me, it was unisex leaning a little more masculine, so I felt like I didn't need it. So this one, Supreme Vanilla, is a feminine and sophisticated fragrance, an ink accord associated to pink sugar. Interesting. Hmm. Vanilla notes of uh, vanilla with notes of tonka bean and cedar wood. So let me see, cause well, I'm saying let me see because I smell all these online and I didn't get any pink sugar because pink sugar gives me a headache. But let me familiarize myself with this again because I hadn't smelled it since I purchased them. <sighs> oh. Y'all, and the crazy thing is you don't smell any alcohol. Like with fragrances like these, I'm expecting a blast of alcohol to just hit me in my nose because that's what usually happens with these kind of fragrances. Like these more affordable fragrances, like you smell the alcohol so much more, but I don't smell alcohol. <sighs> okay, this is my favorite. Supreme Vanilla is my favorite. <sighs> Ooh, but then, eek. The, um, the Starlight Vanilla is also, oh my goodness, y'all, these smell so good. Wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh, they smell so good. I'm sorry, y'all. But um, yeah, okay, so I have all three. I have, well, there's four that came in the collection. I purchased three. The Hypnotic Vanilla I purchased because whatever. Like, I just wanted it because it's vanilla. But it does remind me of Hypnotic Poison, not gonna lie. But a, a Starlet Vanilla and Supreme Vanilla, y'all, for fall, Get your vanilla loving life. Wear them on their own. Layer them with your unisex fragrances or fragrances that you feel lean masculine. Add a little bit more sweetness to them. They smell so good. They don't smell cheap. No, not at all. Oh my goodness. They smell amazing. Okay, let me get off of these because I will be here all day talking about these vanilla fragrances because y'all know. Okay, so if you watch my vlogs, you would have seen that my Killian Smoking Hot came in and also my Creed Carmina. Carmina is a love, absolutely love this fragrance. It's another cherry scent. It doesn't remind me of anything, love it. Now, the Killian Smoking Hot, Bay pre-ordered this for me and um, I'm still playing with this one. Still playing with it because you know, it, it's something like very smoky and um, very hookah bar-ish on me. But it opens up really pretty. Like it opens up pretty and juicy and fruity. But when I tell you in like five seconds, it dries down to this, 
tobacco ashes smell like like it smells like ashes on my skin like a hookah bar like it smells like a hookah bar yeah um i'm gonna play with it though like i said because it was a gift i'm gonna play with it if not she gonna get decluttered <laughs> back to bay of course now another affordable fragrance that i purchased is from victoria's secret and it's tea's coco soiree now y'all know i'm always up in victoria's secret because i love the pajamas and the robes that's all i wear victoria's secret robes and well not all i wear but the majority of what i wear i love victoria's secret pajamas and robes i want to be cute in the house i want to smell good and i want to be cute and presentable when i'm sitting in my vanity doing my makeup i want to wear a cute robe love victoria's secret for that so i went in there and they had this whole big display of this uh tease coco soiree so i'm like coco and the bottle is brown so i'm like hmm, is this chocolate or is this like cocoa like hot chocolate like what is this <laughs> so i smelled it and i was like oh this is cute she's really cute so i got it y'all so this is what the bottle looks like you know typical like girly flirty vicky secret bottle now for me y'all this is the most gourmand that i feel that i'm gonna get from victoria's secret i mean because victoria's secret is fruity floral like it's fruity floral nation like if you love fruity florals then that's what it is but this one has a little bit of hint of gourmand it's cute it's di it's not like ground obviously it's not groundbreaking or anything like that but it's pretty it's pretty to wear in the house it's pretty to wear to bed not doing too much it's a cute scent so i got this and i used like a 20 dollars off they were having like a i shopped before and got some 20 dollars off $50 use every $50 or $75. I'm not sure. Maybe every $50 or $75 you get $20 off. So I bought some new pajamas and I was able to use those. So that's why I got this. But it's cute, y'all. It's cute. If you love sweet fruity floral fragrances, I think you'll like this. It has that Victoria's Secret DNA. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? But it has that little cocoa that just gives it a little something different. It makes it a little bit more warm, a little bit creamier. It's cute, it's definitely cute. Am I wearing this on a sexy date night? No, but I do like variety in my collection. And I'm a Victoria's Secret girl, y'all know that. I still love my body sprays and, and my Bath and Body Works body sprays. Like I'm never gonna be too good or too bougie. It is what it is. So, two more fragrances. So, Joe Malone came out with english pear and sweet pea uh it says cologne fragrance whatever so i got this y'all now this fragrance is not for the unisex beast mode fragrance lovers like if that's all you love you go on ahead and skip this part of the video okay no don't skip it keep watching it but <laughs> this fragrance is very sweet it's cute like like I said, I love variety in my collection and I just love what smells good. If it smells good, I'm going to wear it. Oh, this is so pretty, y'all. This is for when I'm feeling in my super feminine mood. I want to smell clean and feminine and floral and sweet. This is the kind of fragrance I'm going to reach for. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, y'all. It smells so good. Honestly, I have English Pear and Freesia. And I prefer English Pear and Sweet Pea. I do like the Freesian one. I, I have it in this size and I do like it. But the Sweet Pea is better to me. Like it's more sweet. It, yeah, it's more sweet. This is really pretty. I love this. Like I said, feminine, easy, not doing too much. And the bottle, I love how the bottle is like um, cut all over. It's really pretty. It looks like a really pretty crystal. It's really nice, y'all. So the last fragrance that I picked up is by Gucci. Ciao. By Gucci. I haven't had a Gucci fragrance in forever. So this is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Jasmine. Now, when the Gorgeous Gardenia came out, the one in the pink bottle, um, I wanted it because I'm like, this bottle looks like art. <clears throat> But the fragrance, it didn't do anything for me. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I mean, I didn't even like it. Like, <laughs> But it didn't have anything like 
wrong with it it just didn't do anything for me that's what i should say but this is really pretty i love this one y'all it's floral it's definitely floral but it's a sweet floral i realized that about myself i love sweet florals if you're a floral then be sweet i prefer sweet fresh florals rather than like heady intense like florals you know what i'm saying especially white florals so this is what the bottle looks like it's so cute y'all it is so cute it looks vintage and i love this color so i picked it up so let's see what this smells like i smelled it in store but i want to smell it again because i was waiting for y'all oh it's so pretty y'all i love this yes and i can layer this with my nest indian jasmine <gasps> yes it's a vibe and actually let me see because this can i open the drawer while i'm sitting here my gucci um bronzer how cute i see an instagram moment coming <laughs> an instagram moment is coming because they look so cute together but yeah y'all this smells so good so this has um jasmine uh magnolia accord mandarin essence it's really pretty like this is for days in the fall and in the winter that i don't feel like wearing gourmand y'all know i love me some gourmands but believe it or not some days I don't want to smell all that sweet, sickly cloying. On a day like that, I'll reach for something like this. It's a floral, but it's so sweet, y'all. I'm telling you, it took me by surprise. Let me tell y'all. I got this from Ulta, and I went in there to smell the um, the new Jador. And y'all, in case you're wondering, she is not for me. I dislike that fragrance. It's not even like she didn't do anything for me. It just has something in it that was just funky on my skin. It just wasn't good. But this happened to be right next to it. Like the Gucci section was next to the Dior section. So I was like, you know what? Let me just smell this because I'm attracted to this color. As you can see from my um, bronzer, from my Tiffany. Like I just love this color. So I was like, let me smell it. And I smelled it and I loved it. And I was like, let me pick this up. I probably should have gotten the larger bottle. I don't need the larger bottle, but I think this bottle is so cute that it would look nice in the bigger bottle, but whatever, we'll see. Maybe I'll return it and get the bigger bottle. Cause I do love this y'all. I really do. Mm, it's so good. It's like almost like soapy a little bit in the dry down now but it's still sweet still floral like i said i can layer it with my indian jasmine this is a movement this is a vibe i love this y'all so that's it right yeah i don't have any more fragrances so leave it in the comments below guys and let me know what do you think about these zara vanilla fragrances have you gotten any um let's talk about the mind games the new creed um let's talk about it y'all like we always do remember to stay safe be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.